Hello everybody. Today I have an interesting sight to share with you. It is so unknown that even Wikipedia has nothing written about this site. It is called Ma Thi Temple Grottoes. Ma means horse, Thi means hoof, Si means temple, Shiku means grottoes. Ma Thi Si Shiku means horse hoof temple grottoes. This temple grotto is located at Sunan Autonomous Region of Gansu Province. The terrain is pretty rough. Mati Grottoes is 3,000 meters above sea level. Mati Si Grottoes site is actually an amazing tourist spot for those who are interested in megalithic culture. This site is so isolated and underpromoted that even Wikipedia has no article written on this. The caves are divided into seven groups of grottoes. The area stretches 30 kilometers long, and it is not something you can even see in a day if you want to visit the entire site like an explorer. This mega project deserves to be documented by some officials at some point in history. Strangely, there is no official record of its construction. The reason it is referenced to 1,600 years ago is because of poets in Jin Dynasty wrote about it. That gives me a reason to believe that something is going on behind the scene. According to mainstream, the first cave was carved 1,600 years ago. But look at the mysterious rectangular holes, random in size and location and useless for climbing even if you manage to put a stick through it. Striations on the left side of this picture shows that it is not the result of ancient chisels. It is caused by a large tool with ability to rake a long continuous line. That is advanced technology not available today. As if carving caves is not good enough, ancient Chinese even connect them through tunnels. From the striations, you can tell it is from advanced technology civilization because it is not done with ancient chisel. There are mysterious striations just like those in Israel, Turkey, India and other parts of the world. According to mainstream, the Mongols of Yuan Dynasty carved a part of the 30 km stretch of Krotos. However, I think they were here painting murals and carving smaller statues to complement the existing megalithic caves. This photo doesn't stand out as mysterious until you see the striations of the entire bedrock. This is not a sedimentation that got pushed up. This is a striation caused by tools we don't have. Someone raked the site of this bedrock. While tourists admire the statues, I wonder about the gear marks just below the ceiling. It is definitely not for climbing. What is it for? The mysterious gear tracks in Mati Grottoes are similar to those in Bolivia, Japan, Sri Lanka and around the world. You can calculate the volume to chisel out and you will know that it is humanly impossible let alone make sense. Imagine the volume of rock carved out with ancient chisel. It is impossible. The task of chilling this hall is so enormous, it is not crazy to think it is humanly impossible. Also, the unfinished niches are like those in Petra. According to local legend, a celestial horse came down from the sky and landed here leaving a horseshoe imprint which gave the place its name. Do you not find this an interesting coincidence that cultures around the world has a story about flying objects and did something humans cannot do? Look at the picture above. Do you think a celestial horse descended from heaven and left behind this hoof print? Do you think it has anything to do with legendary King Gesa and his mythical Ling Kingdom? We tend to give credit to those who are using it and scoff those who comes up with strange stories as folklore. Maybe it is time to rethink in reverse. That's all for today. Thank you for watching my presentation on Mati Si Grotos. 
Don't forget to click like and subscribe and see you next time. 谢谢。